All right, y'all, what's up? It's your boy, Trail the Trainer, and I'm back, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over how come guys just don't know how to approach women. It's like, I don't get it. It's either you get in front of her and you start stuttering, panicking, and you just don't know what to say, or you don't say anything at all and wait till later to slide in the DM. That's all wrong, but don't worry about it. I have you covered, guys. Today, I'll be going over seven of my top secrets and tips on how to approach women. So if this video sounds interesting enough, like let's jump straight into it. If not, I'll see you guys later. All right, y'all. First things first, before you ever even approach a woman, guys, you need to have your shit together. You shouldn't even be worried about a female if you don't have your things in order. If you're not working or you don't have the, the making the salary that you wanna make, you're not living the way you want to live, you're still living with your mom or aunt or cousin. If you don't have your stuff together, guys, there's no reason you should even be considering trying to approach or date a woman. Come correct, guys, and check this out. You wanna have your social media presence there as well. Have your shit together on social media. If you're sitting here posting funny videos or memes all day, nine times out of 10, she won't even be interested. So first things first, guys, have your shit together. All right, y'all, number two on this list. You just wanna have confidence, that's it. So you don't have to be necessarily the most attractive guy in the room, but if you walk with that confidence, if you walk with that swag, I promise you, you increase your chances of getting the woman that you want. So how do you improve your confidence? Basic, simple things. Guys, have your grooming in order. Stay well-groomed. Get in shape. I can't express how important it is to be in shape because guess what? When you're in shape and your muscles and chest popping out, guess what? You fit your shirts and stuff a lot nicer. And when you look good, you feel good, and then you exude confidence. She can't help but notice, and there's no way she'll tell you no. All right, guys, my trick number three and don't feel bad i was I, I used to do this myself i'm a victim of it but it's always better to approach in person rather than in social media you know why because you look weak when you wait you see the girl you're seeing her she's seeing you and then you slide in the dm bro you should have approached her that comes from two having confidence check this out keep it simple don't try to oversimplify it start with the environment use your circumstances you might be at a restaurant simply hey have you been here before what would you recommend Bow, you've opened up the door. Now she's liable to say anything and keep the conversation going. Or you could be at a party with a mutual friend. You might approach her and say, hey, Sarah, how do you know John? Damn, bam, the door's open for you to start a conversation, guys. Do not overcomplicate it. Don't try those corny pickup lines. Approach in person, have confidence. All right, guys, my secret number four. Say you got the number, or maybe you didn't get the number and you're ready to slide in the DMs. Don't be so routine, guys. Ladies are tired of saying that. What you doing, text? Or good morning, gorgeous. Or good night, gorgeous. Don't be so freaking routine. Try this. Hey, guess what? You won't believe what happened to me today. Something that intrigues her. Something that opens her mind. Because you got to think how many guys are probably texting her. Hey, what you doing, sweetheart? What you doing? How was your day? Think outside of the box, guys. All right, y'all. My tip number five. Guys, you don't want to be too overzealous. Don't be too geeked up relax just have patience if you're at the restaurant or wherever you are and you're talking to her don't rush the conversation don't force it let it be natural you get what I'm saying or if you're DMing or texting if she doesn't respond guess what it's okay it's not the end of the world she might be at work she might be doing something super important don't panic when she doesn't text back and get to send a 10 20 text messages or just pick up hints if you sent three text messages and they go unresponded nine times out of ten she's not interested also you don't want to be that guy that goes and like 20 to 30 pictures and comment on 10 pictures. Don't do that. Now you're coming off as a creep. Relax. If you're interested enough, she'll stay intrigued. You don't have to force it. Be patient, guys. Don't be too geeked up. All right, y'all. My trick number six. Keep it short and meaningful over long and purposeless. 
Does that make sense? So remember, keep it between five and 10 minutes of conversation, whether that's in person or via text. The objective, keep in mind, the objective is to get her to go on a date with you. You don't have to talk to this lady 20 times a day. You don't have to be talking paragraphs, sending paragraphs. Keep it short and sweet and get to the point. Also, when you keep it short and to the point, it shows her that you know what you want and that you're a busy person. You have five to 10 minutes to text her and then you're out. This will trigger her to say, wow, this guy's actually doing something with his life and not sitting here texting me all day. So remember, short and interesting over long and boring, God. Hey, what's your name? I'm Bob. Hey, Bob, I'm Sarah. Hello, Sarah. What is it that you do? Well, I'm an engineer at this high company. What do you do? Well, I'm a teacher. Oh, so what do you like to do outside of work? Well, I like to... No, no, guys. <laughs> Look how awkward that was. Look how long it took for him to get to the point. Listen, nine times out of 10, guys, people don't have that much time to sit back and forth talking to a stranger. So instead, get straight to the point. How about you try something like this? Hey, such and such, I'm Trell. I know you don't know me, but I felt obligated to come over here and at least tell you how amazing you look. And I wanted to know if it was possible for us to exchange numbers and possibly do lunch. Bam, simple. It, didn't, it wasn't complicated. I didn't make up this corny joke. I got straight to the point, guys. Now I have a better chance of getting a yes or a no, and I'm okay with that. It shows her that I'm a confident guy. It also showed her that I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I was on a time schedule because I gotta go, obviously, and I know what I want. All right, y'all, and then here's my last and final tip, tip number seven. Stop playing Mr. Nice Guy so much. You look weird, you look weak. Stop playing Mr. Nice Guy. Be tough, be bad. Girls love a bad boy, why? Because they're spontaneous. They're gonna say some shit that the normal guy wouldn't say. Pop your stuff, talk your talk, grab your nuts. Bro, stop playing Mr. Nice Guy so much. Like, it's okay to go missing sometimes. Make her miss you for three days instead of talking to her every day. Go missing for a day. Also, you don't have to respond Respond to every single text message. Read it. Let her wonder why you didn't respond. Show her that you're busy, you're occupied, you got other stuff going on. Especially if you're trying to approach this super, super bad attractive woman. You gotta think 20 guys that already try every line and talk to her. Maybe show less attention. Maybe have conversation, but show her less attention. Make her wonder like, wow, this guy out of a million is the only guy that's not trying to hump my leg as soon as I turn around, or he's not trying to get in my pants. Like, be different, be bold, be bad. Pop your shit, guys. Well, guys, that pretty much wraps up my seven tips on how to approach any woman and have a better chance of actually getting on a date because you have to remember that's the objective so do me a favor if you like this video or if you have questions or comments feel free to go down below and type something let me know how you feel it also hit the subscribe button and send me a thumbs up if you like this video if you found anything interesting in it and I'll do more videos whatever you guys want me to do but it's your boy Joe the trainer and I'm off